highly sophisticated fighting biological weapon with intelligence which would obey programmed orders and act like a soldier. That was the monster we tried to create. And we called it the Tyrant. But from the beginning, there was one huge obstacle. It was almost impossible to obtain a living subject on which we could base the Tyrant. The supply of genetically adaptable human beings for the Tyrant was extremely limited. This is due to the nature of the T-Virus. The T-Virus variant that was ideal to create the zombies and the hunters was suitable for most humans, but it had a fault of making the carrier's brain cells decline. To transform the carrier into a tyrant, we needed to keep the carrier's intelligence at a certain level. In order to overcome this issue, Bergen had been working on extracting a variant that would cause the least damage to the brain when it was adapted perfectly to the carrier. However, Humans with a genetic match to this variant were extremely rare. The genetic analytic team simulation report told us that only one in 10 million would be infected and transform into a tyrant, with the remainder becoming zombies. It might have been possible to develop a more progressive strain of the T-virus that could transform more humans into tyrants. However, to push the research further, first of all, we required human subjects with a perfect genetic match to the new variant. There was little possibility that such a specimen would be supplied to us, because even if we scoured the whole United States of America, we would only be able to find 50 or so of them. In fact, at that time, even with the most utmost effort, we only managed to collect a few specimens with a close match. Even from the outset, our research was at a standstill. <laughs> 